They're meant for creativity and relaxation, enjoyment, all positive things that, that we discuss on this channel. But these watercolors down here, it's got oil pastels, which I need to learn. I've been watching, um, oh, that one from India. Ah, he does such beautiful work. Um, he's been, he kind of he uses it almost like a diary because he's done uh, the revolution to their freedom. He lives in Bangladesh. And so, but he uses those and a lot. And when he does his drawings and colors, I don't know how he manages to get it so perfect. But, but what is every child's dream? And I'm not a child, but I can sure as heck appreciate it. What is their dream? for school but to have the biggest box of crayons there and I just noticed are these all the same in each of these four <laughs> I hope not but well it gives you a chance to use them up I guess oh, what's this Oh, what the, it's lost, it looks like a gray. Oh, it's got the paper on there. It's just not marked. Anyway, but there's a lot of crayons in here, a lot of colors. And so tonight, I'm going to use some of this, but I'm going to use the crayons. And I am going to work on an adult coloring page. So I'm going to do something different tonight. I'm going to color with crayons because it's fun, it's relaxing. If you're ever thinking that the world is just cramming in on you or your life is just getting so overwhelmed by decisions and people around you, just go get a coloring book. It used to be a kid's coloring book. But I am going to color this. Cactus, it, I thought, there's not a whole lot of different colors. And it's like, oh yes, there's a lot of different colors I can use here. So, I, I'm not going to be a perfect with the crayons. I'll try to do my jet best. But, I just, I want you to understand that this, these books are meant for your creativity, for, I don't even know who these, uh, this one was made by, but they're meant for creativity and relaxation, enjoyment, all positive things that, that we discuss on this channel a lot. And this, somebody's already done all the detail work, all the drawing on here. I don't have to do all that. It'd be good if I did. <laughs> it's nice not to have to do all that. To just sit down and take a green, green crayon to a cactus. And just color inside the lines. Now, <laughs> I did have I did take one semester of drawing in college. Oh, drawing between uh, coloring between the lines or being staying in the lines. That's something that she tried to undo in our brains. Now this is a coloring page, so yeah, I need to kind of try to stay in the lines so that I. 
But she said everybody thinks that they have to stay within the lines when it comes to art and when it comes to drawing and, and painting and all that. And she said there's a lot outside the lines that you can do and make it so much more distinct and beautiful. For instance, Van Gogh's Starry Nights. Have you ever seen that? That Starry Night? He, he didn't worry about coloring the stars perfectly. He painted them like a dream. He didn't paint those stars like something perfect. He, you know, it was like he was in a dream when he painted it. That's how I imagine it. You know, it, daydream maybe, but <laughs> it's some kind of a dream. But we have so much leeway in art. And, I mean, this is stuff that I've been learning for myself. And that is, we don't have to stick to the normal colors. We can do whatever we want. That may be a desert scene, but I'm going to do what I want with it. It's my desert scene now, right? So I am just going to enjoy making it a positive, fun, fun experience. Why not make a, this isn't red, what's it called? Sugar plum. And that fits. <laughs> it is a sugar plum color. I'll come back to some of the rest of this later. I might not color them all blue. I can come back in here with some other colors. But let's do the sky. Are we tired of... I don't even know what's clouds and what's not. I ain't gonna worry about it. But does the sky have to be blue and white? No. Not when you're coloring. <laughs> It has no need to have to stay blue and white. So, what color do I want to make it? I've got quite a few in here. Mm -hmm. Too many choices sometimes. Oh, let's make a golden sky. Or golden make some golden clouds at least some of them <laughs> it's really hard to tell what is what's cloud and what's what's just sky but I'm going to make it so we'll just do this one. <laughs> I really do love these um, outdoor scenes, and I like the ones where you know they they kind of put together um, you know different things like a banjo and a chair and a barrel and stuff on a front porch and just you know gives that old-timey feel. Let's do a bit of brown. Yeah, we don't have to make it a real dark brown. We don't have to make it heavy. But we're making this our way. My way. <laughs> can't say our way because you don't have any you don't have any chance to tell me don't do that but I'm doing it a 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna When I'm singing, you know my heart is happy. I don't always have to sing when my heart is happy, but <laughs> when I'm singing. And I'm not worrying about being a great singer. I'm really not. Sometimes I do miss the guitar and miss, you know, making things up. And, and chords and words together for a little song even a little campish type song but I haven't done that for quite a while no I did make up I was just being silly and <laughs> I was with a singing group and we kind of took some turn. I ended up writing a lot of the music because the others were just really, really busy. I was busy too, but anyway. <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going again. Oh, was right. It was the song thing. <laughs> it was a Christian group. And the one couple that was there, she was she was very into music. I mean, she was good. She was really good. She had a gorgeous voice, and she played the piano. And I'm not saying she didn't have a sense of humor, because she did. But sometimes we kind of drove her a little nuts. And I started... This is how it went. And it's all, this is all the words. Going on a praise craze. We're going on a praise craze. Just over and over and over again. And her kids got into it. And they loved it. And she was, she was going crazy. She says, don't ever sing that in front of my kids again. <laughs> she says, that's all they want to hear. That's all they want to see. <laughs> well, it is a perfect thing for kids. You know what I mean? But anyway, that was the whole song. That one phrase. I used to do that when I was growing up. My mom would just get tired of hearing it. She'd say, quit that sing song. <laughs> oh, little did she know. Anyway, what do you think of that? I, mean, I can do more blue down here, and I can make some other colors, but we don't have all night. But it's fun. That's what I'm going for. It's fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm happy. And I just had some fun going against the grain. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I used to love scribble pictures where you sit down and you just scribble lines all over the place. And you sit there and you color them in whatever you want. Those are fun. Love you. I'm getting too close to there. <laughs> love you. Smile and wave. Go give somebody one of those. I gave a couple of them today. We'll see you. Is this? Oh, tomorrow's. Oh, my goodness. I'll see you Friday. I'll see you Friday. And maybe we'll just do something else. <laughs>